How's it going friends? In this video we're going to go over everything you need to know about the RF or radio frequency components of rust and also the sand turrets. So first off we have the receiver. The receiver will receive any signal that you set its, its set frequency to. So if you set this to let's say 1, it will receive any frequency of 1. The broadcaster will always broadcast its set frequency as long as it is receiving power. The transmitter, this little thing in my hand right here, will always broadcast a signal as long as you hold the button down. So right when you let go of the mouse button, the transmitter will stop transmitting until you hold it back down again. The pager that I have right here, you don't hold it in your hands, it will alert you when any frequency that you have it set to is, is being broadcast. So right now I have it set to 1 and I'll go over it in just a second. So an example of a use for the, the receiver is to hook it up to let's say like a door controller. So right now I have power being sent into the receiver and being sent out of the receiver to three door controllers. So if I set this frequency to a number and I have a transmitter set to the same frequency as long as I hold this button down, these garage doors will stay open. And they will stay open as long as I have the button down. And watch what happens when I let go. The doors close because the receiver is no longer receiving my frequency any longer. The broadcaster works a little differently. As long as it's receiving power, it will always broadcast the frequency you have it set to. So if you have a broadcaster and let's say a receiver, you can give power to the broadcaster. And as long as it is receiving this power, it will always broadcast its frequency. So if you have a receiver, you don't have to hold down the button of the transmitter, the transmitter any longer because you have a broadcaster doing it for you. And so when you cut power to the broadcaster, the signal stops and whatever system you have set up will stop receiving that frequency and turn off or on depending on how you have it set up. Now you can kind of do some funny things with this. You can set the broadcaster up to a timer and you can transmit a signal for X amount of seconds. So right now I have these linked up together to broadcast a signal that will keep this light on for five seconds just in case you don't want to broadcast a signal for a permanent amount of time and you don't want to be there sitting next to a switch to turn it off when you need to turn it off you can rig it up to a timer and set the timer to wherever you want and this light will stay on for five seconds because that's how long I choose to broadcast this signal I'll do it again it's five second timer on this broadcast so Right off the bat, you can see just how many nifty things you can do with this. There's a lot of possibilities you can do with that. So now we have the, the pager. So the pager will alert you when a set frequency is triggered. So right now I'll set it to like 667. And so it will alert me when a frequency of 667, which I have this set to, is triggered. You can see my pager is going off because it's detecting this this frequency. This is good to let you know, like if if somebody is near your base, if you have like a laser, if you have a laser detector set up or anything, or any kind of detection method or a heartbeat sensor or something, you it'll alert you when somebody is let's say snooping around your base or let's you know if you're being raided or anything. The pager also has a silent mode because. The, the pager's beeping is a proximity, it's proximity audio, so other people near you can hear it. So you can set it to silent mode, which will vibrate. Other people can hear the vibration as well, but they need to be a little closer than, than when it's, the pager is actually beeping. Now what's cool about this is that whether it's on silent mode or not, if you put the pager into a chest or something, or somebody else is carrying it, you can still hear it. Because the pager is in that chest and you can still hear it go off. And you can hear it from about this distance. So it's, it's, it's really good because you don't need to carry it with you. 
You can keep this in a chest in your base and it will be a little alarm system that will let you know when things are happening and it's a lot less loud and annoying than the freaking the the normal alarm speakers that we have in game now over here i have a sam turret let me go ahead and turn on my no clip sam turrets are they're basically anti-aircraft uh missile launchers so when somebody flies over your base or relatively close to your base in a a gyrocopter the SAM turret will do its best to lock onto it and shoot it down with guided rockets. Now the, the SAM turrets do take 25 uh, units of power to keep active at all times, uh, so do, do keep that in mind. Um, so instead of having it powered 100% of the time, because I know myself I like to fly gyrocopters and bring them back to base so I can use them throughout my, my gaming day. Uh, I like to have them in a in a way where I can turn them off and on as needed. So right now I have a receiver set to only turn on when it's receiving a signal from me. So if I hear somebody flying by and I want to have my SAM turn on really quick, I can just hit my receiver or my transmitter, and the SAM turret will activate, and you can potentially shoot people down and that you hear. Uh, flying over you. Or if you don't want to have a transmitter and only have it on when you're clicking this down, you can choose to use a broadcaster to keep it on as long as you give the broadcaster power. So if you're at base and just chilling not using a gyrocopter, you can use this method to keep a SAM turret on that's quite a bit of distance away. And this will stay on. But this is nice because if you want to leave or you have a friend that's coming back to visit you or something or coming back home from a, a scrap run or anything, you can go ahead and turn the SAM turret off momentarily, wait for him to land safely, and you can just kick it back on to initiate your defense system again. It's really good, especially if you want to leave and use gyrocopters or come back and use gyrocopters and stuff. These will target you. They have no authorization. They will target anybody flying a gyrocopter. Whether you know them or not, whether they're authorized on the TC or not, they will target anybody. So a method of turning them off and on is crucial to any SAM turret defense system. So that's everything you need to know about these components. I do have an all-electric component guide if you need help learning any other components. Link right here on the video. If I was able to help you in any way, or you'd like to give me feedback, or you need a guide on any electric design you might have, be sure to comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Remember to like and subscribe for future Rust videos. With that being said, stay rusty.